Dad has always been, you know, ever since I can remember, a leader and like a teacher. Um, and I always refer to him as my dad. They always say, what's the inmate's number? And I always say, oh, daddy's number is AF3855. And daddy needs this. And daddy is, is experiencing chest pain. And the doctor got on the phone. He said, well, tell him to stop yelling. And I said, yelling what? And he said, I understand that Russell is yelling at the young guys coming in, telling them to try to stay don't get your mind, don't let your mind leave you. Don't, don't get distracted into your own self. Um, try to stay focused and don't lose yourself. Um, the prison in which my dad is in now, SEI Green, is in Pennsylvania. About two years ago, over 10 guys in their 20s hung themselves in solitary confinement. Well, uh, what he's noticing and what has really happened is that young guys are coming in off the streets and they're being locked down in solitary confinement. And my dad always explains it as they come in strolling and they're fresh off the streets and they think they can handle this. And within six months, some of them are ready to kill themselves. Daddy is reviewed every 90 days and Every 90 days, he's saying, no, you got to go back to solitary confinement, but keep up the good work. You're doing so good. More than 23 years without any infractions, and you're still doing real good, but we got to still put you in solitary confinement. We had the Secretary of Prisons of Pennsylvania um, saying that Russell hasn't done anything in more than 20 years. No infractions. He's been in solitary confinement more than 20 years. So, yeah, I think it's time. We may, yeah, I think he can do this program. Yet, the warden, the superintendent of the prison said no. He'll be, my dad will be 70 years old soon. And he's been in jail 39 years. God, what more can you get out of that?